Heyo duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another video, and this one is a new product that I'm going to be launching for StreamUp, and this is the easy method of making a background blur. So I've done a video on this in the past, where you can create a DSK scene, and then make or anything that's on that that's transparent, blur whatever's in the background, really cool effect to, to make your stream look a little bit more sleeker. But now you don't need all the technical methods or anything like that. There's just a product, you download it from StreamUp, install it into OBS, boom, ready to go. It is so easy to do it. Let's just get into it. Put your rock with a stone. Much love. So there will be a few things you need to get and they are both available from our website and the OBS website. So first things first, we're going to jump into the StreamUp website and you'll be able to download the new product by going to the products page and you'll see it on here. You'll be able to go down to tools and you'll see the DSK plugin. I'm obviously filming this before we've released it. Just get that downloaded. Uh, it'll be just a standard zip file. You'll also need to make sure you've got this StreamUp OBS Studio plugin. This will allow you to install the scenes and get everything functional. Functioning. So make sure you download whichever it platform it is that you're going to be using it for, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And you'll also need the downstream Kia plugin from Exceldro. Uh, all you need to do is go and press download just here at the side, and it'll give you an option on which version you want to download it again. And we're going to download just the Windows one for now, and we need to get that installed. So open up that file, and you'll see a data and OBS plugins folder just there. We need to navigate to where your OBS is. It's usually in your C drive, usually program files or program files 86. And we're going to go to OBS-Studio, all lowercase, open that up, and we just need to paste the files directly into there. So I've already got mine installed, so I don't need to worry about that for now. Once that's all installed, so now we can open up OBS. Once that's open, you can see I've got a blank scene collection just here. And you can see I've just got my camera on it for now, just as so we've got some sort of background that we can work with. So opening up your folder, you'll see the DSK plugin and we can open that up. Um, and we just need to extract this. We can either double click into it and copy it. We just need to put it somewhere on our computer where uh, we're not gonna move it around afterwards. So inside my documents, I've got a, um, a stream up stuff thing and I just paste all my uh, stream up stuff when I install it just in here. Once we open that, you'll see it's got all the little downloads here for, for everything that you need to download, um, as in all the plugins, etc. And we've also got this stream up file. So to install the stream up file, we go into OBS, go to tools and go down to stream up. If you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed the stream up plugin. We're going to go and find where we put that folder. So mine's in stream up stuff and then inside the DSK blur scene. And we're going to open that up. It's going to put in two different scenes just here. We've got DSK Blur Intermix with no sources on it. And we've also got DSK Blur Scene, which again, it will look blank. So the way that this works, anything that we want to kind of make blurred, uh, basically, if it's got transparency, uh, we put it on Intermix. So for instance, if I just add something here, this could be absolutely anything. It could be another scene. It can be anything as long as it's got some form of transparency. So with the opacity brought down. So I'm just going to use a color source for now. So I'm going to add a color source and I'm just going to make it a pink color. Why not? I'm just going to resize it so it's not the whole screen. So I'll just put it there. So now we've got that here you'll be able to see on this blur scene it looks like there's something there now they both look exactly the same but this has got something called the output source on we don't have to do anything with that it's perfectly fine the only thing we need to do is whilst we've got downstream Kia on the DSK plugin if you're not seeing that just right click and you should see the option for downstream Kia and you can put it on uh, like so and once we've got the DSK blur scene selected press the plus sign this is basically gonna add that scene to the top layer no matter what scene we're on so we need to make sure we select it so it's highlighted like so and now when we go to the webcam scene you'll see this pink box is always on top even though there's only the camera source here so i press the pause sign it disappears i press the thing again it turns on and so on so that hasn't got any transparency so let's add a little bit of transparency to it so on intermix we're going to go to filters i'm going to add in a color correction filter and we're just going to bring down the opacity um, to whatever we want, as long as it's got some. So there we go. That's a random amount. And now when I go back to the webcam scene, you'll see it's blurred behind it. 
automatically. So everything behind this cam is now blurred, which is a super cool effect that I don't see many people use. So that can work with a lot of our stream up plugins as well. So if I go to tools and install a different plugin that we've got, so I'm going to install one of our new widgets, uh, which is the uh, the uh, Pold system, which is not available just yet, but this is a sneak peek of what is to come. And that's going to add it just there. So now on the minimum poll, we've got this whole scene just here ready to go. On the Intermix, it's automatically added it in because that's the way that I'm going to be coding this one to make sure it automatically adds it in. If it's not there for any reason, you just right click, add a scene and add the minimum poll scene to it. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look like there's anything there at the minute. So I'm just going to turn my filters on. And as I turn the move value to turn the, uh, the actual source on, check it out. So it's got the blur behind it already set up. Looks super, super sleek. And this is the poll system that we're going to be releasing very soon. So that is the easy method of getting that awesome frosted glass effect that is so simple to do. All you need is a couple of plugins. So easy to do. You can add absolutely anything to it as long as it's got some sort of transparency. And you can also set up hotkeys to your DSK as well. So if you want it to just be turned off at certain times, you could do that as well because Exceldro's added hotkey functionality to the DSK plugin. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. You know, get, I like to reply to every single comment on there. Also, if you want to support me, then consider joining the YouTube memberships down below or the Patreon as well. You'll get actually early access to any betas that I put out. Also support StreamUp, all that jazz. Uh, all the links are in the description. All right, guys, put your over the stone. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys. Mm -hmm.